but specifically related to long and short-term disability offered through group insurance, you have to be mindful of how the payment of those premiums affects the disability benefit itself. So if the employee pays 100% of the premium on an after-tax or post-tax basis, then that is going to mean that the disability payment itself will be non-taxable. None of the disability benefit will be taxable, which does mean that the employee receives a greater amount in the disability benefit rather than getting and receiving that disability benefit and then it's subject further to income tax, which overall reduces the amount that they can have to take home. If the employee pays 100% through a voluntary short or long-term disability plan pre-tax, then the full amount of the disability benefit is going to be taxable to that employee. Now, if the employer pays a portion and the employee pays the rest pre-tax, the same thing applies here. 